Hey fellow RC Heli Hangout Pilots, Ed Johnson here. Um, I've really enjoyed hanging out on the Facebook page and a uh, big thumbs up to Frank and Chris for putting together the forum. Awesome idea and uh, looks like it's growing every day. Um, if you guys don't know, you may have heard my voice on the RC Heli Hooligans podcast. Uh, I'd like to really thank Walt for uh, inviting me on the podcast and uh, I'm trying to contribute as much as I can in any way I can. Uh, to the heli hobby. Uh, you may have heard on the last episode I touched on a, I wouldn't say a problem, but an inconvenience I was having with the uh, MSH brain in my Goblin Nitro. I did go through a lot of things real quick verbally on the podcast. Uh, as the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, a little short video might be worth uh, several thousand words. So I'd like to take the time out right now and just go through the original configuration where I had the uh, quick acceleration from normal mode on the radio to idle one and then I'll show you in the radio as well as in the MSH brain software on the laptop uh, uh, enabling the governor in setup one basically cured the uh, quick acceleration problem and probably restored what was supposed to be the design functionality of the MSH uh, with the nitro so again, guys, awesome job out there. Love the raffles, and uh, well, let's get into the uh, problem. All right, guys. Um, Heli's powered up. Radio's powered up. Bound to the uh, receiver and the brain. Uh, throttle stick or collective all the way down. My throttle cut is on. Right now, I'm in idle up one. I'm going to switch to idle up to, uh, a normal mode in a second, and. Uh, the glow plug drive is going to come on, so I'm going to try to talk above it and see how this video comes out. Anyway, take our idle one to normal, take throttle cut off. You've seen the throttle jump from off up to my idle position. Again, off, idle. Now, typically, I'd get the engine started, bring it out to the flight line, put it down, slowly raise the throttle up to mid stick. At that point, I would go into idle up one. And there we have our throttle jump from idle up one, which is about, I mean, normal mode, which would be about 12, 1300 RPM, all the way up to 1700 in one shot. Again, normal mode, idle one, normal mode, and now it does it slowly like I would assume it would have in the beginning uh, with the governor disabled in setup one. And again, normal mode, idle one, from idle one to idle two is always a nice smooth and gradual acceleration up to 1900 to 2000 rpm again i could go down to idle one go back to idle two nice and smooth and i'll put throttle cut back on and go to off okay now we can change uh the governor enable and disable in all three setups through the radio um, just go into menu select model Go down to Device Explorer and highlight the brain. Click Enter and it's going to load all the parameters of the brain into here. Just like uh, a Neo, you have full uh, integration with the MSH brain too. I'm going to go all the way down to Governor and Level located under the Setup Parameters folder. Select Governor and Level. And you'll see here we have setup one, setup two, setup three, and then right under it is governor, use governor, no for setup one, yes for setup two and three. I will now click on setup one, click on it again, tell it I want to use yes. Do I want to apply the changes to the brain? Yes. So now I have governor enabled for setup one, setup two, and setup three. I'll back out of that, all the way back to the beginning, and we'll repeat our process again, throttle stick all the way down, or collective all the way down, normal mode, throttle hold off, you'll see it gradually go up to your idle position, 5% throttle from myself, put it at, start it up, put it out on the flight pad, you can accelerate the stick to mid stick, and it'll come up to 
set up for speed one, which is set for 1400 RPM, under governed control. It'll hold at 1400 RPM. We set it up to idle one. It'll slowly ramp up to 1700. And naturally, idle two will slowly ramp up to 1900, 2000. Idle one, normal, slow ramp up to idle one, normal, idle one, and one more time, normal. So it's 100% consistent now from normal to idle one under government control, nice, smooth, slow ramp up. Okay, as I had also mentioned on the show, the, uh, the brain has set up one, two, and three which is accessible or you configure through your uh, flight mode switch. And then there's also speed one, two, and three, which the brain recognizes based on throttle position. In my particular setup, uh, you, you can do it differently. I have my three RPM or flight curves, throttle curves, associated with normal, idle one, and idle two. If we go into um, heli tuning on the jetty, and I go to throttle curve, you'll see that I'm right now in idle one because I don't want the glow driver on, but we're at a flat throttle curve of about 65%. If I go to idle two, I jumped up to a flat throttle curve around 80%, so 80% would select uh, speed three in the brain, and idle one, the 60 something percent would select speed two. And if I go down to normal, You'll see I have a, a curve that starts off at idle, allows me some throttle, throttle control for starting the engine on a cold day up here in the northeast. And once I reach mid stick, I'm about 40 something percent, and that will engage uh, the governor on mode one and allow uh, it to throttle up to 1400 RPM. And the rest of my stick travel is just a flat curve, so I will stay in speed one which is 1400 rpm okay now in the msh brain software um, for governor adjustment under the standard uh, wizard menu item or flag number 12 uh, your governor if you click on that you come up to the screen you have your endpoint adjustments on your nitro throttle servo to make sure you're not binding up the carburetor barrel uh, you have your main gear ratio to put in um, that affects the governor's ability to maintain or to reach the desired speed. Um, if you have yet ratio off, naturally the head speed calculation is going to be off based on the either the crankcase sensor pickup or the clutch magnet pickup. Uh, tail gear ratio, more or less used, I believe, for vibration. Um, when you go into diagnostic screens, at least you'll have a uh, comparator number if you know your uh, rotation speed or your tail. Uh, sensing divisor, naturally on an electric you would be using the uh, number of poles divided by divided in half, but since we have a magnet, it's uh, one, no ESC telemetry naturally because we're running a nitro, thank God, and uh, our speed one is set for 1400, I have my speed two set for 1750, and speed three for 1900. And also on the bottom you have your magnet detected and governor engaged. You can bring these screens up if you were running it on a bench without the blades on. Uh, this information also shows up in the jetty integration at the bottom of the screen. Now if we go into advanced menu, over to the setup tab, down to governor and level, very similar to the jetty integration, we will now see our three setups. We've got setup one, setup two, and set up three, and as per uh, the previous video, a portion of the video, I had enabled use governor on setup one, use governor on setup two, and use governor on setup three. So, not having the governor selected was my uh, issue with having a smooth, smooth transition from normal position to idle up one position. And uh, I like the way the MSH brain flies on a nitro. Governor stable, uh, fly ballers controller seems uh, nice and solid, and uh, the rescue uh, works so far. Hopefully I don't have to really test it out, but uh, basic in-flight tests, uh, 
it's uh, dependable. Uh, you guys uh, have a good night and uh, looking forward to seeing you on the forum and on the Facebook page. Take care guys.